So guys, I'm back. Um, many of you guys requested for more Explorer videos. And shout out to Daniel Murray again. He was the first one to say that he wanted a review of the Explorer Exus. Now, in case some of you can't tell, I'm going to have a little bit of difficulty um, taking this video because I stole my, ca my parents' camera's tripod, so it's a lot more stable now. But it's in my way, yeah. So, um, it will look a little bit weird. I'll try my best to keep it as professional as possible or as pleasing looking as possible. So, this is a warning to all Explorer fanboys. There is going to be a lot, a lot of bad reviews about this guy. I'm saying out first, it's going to be really, really bad. Like, personal bad. Like, yeah, I'm really attacking them. So, I'm counting down to five. Five, four, three, two, one. So now you have been warned, and I'll assume that those, those of you who still um, did not press X or back or dislike my video and turn away, you guys want to know what the Exus is and what had happened to me personally um, for the Exus now. In case any of you guys are asking that, oh, it's because blah, 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 I don't know my shit. I know my shit. Now look at this wall. I know my shit pretty done well. So, yeah, I've been in the morning. No, just this, all these are just background information. You guys want to skip, skip. I've been in the morning community or the nerfing community in Singapore for three years. I've supported Explorer for like most of that time because I got into the game. Um, straight away I bought an Explorer Ultimate long shot. So I've owned 15, about 15 Explorer Blasters worth, um, spent about roughly over $3,000 sing um, worth of blasters, parts, etc. Maybe even more, I don't remember. Um, so anyway, here goes into my review for the Explorer Exus. Firstly, the Exus is marketed as a one to one shell replacement for the Nerf. Oops. Long shot. As you can see, they are about the same. And you have to admit, the Exus looks a lot better looking than the long shot. So, back to roughly how I do the same video, how, how the format for the X Eliminator will be. Price tag first. The price tag I paid for this now, because this is a new custom color that Explorer had at that time. Um, khaki, which is like the American M4A1, the khaki color. Really nice color, I can't deny that. Um, it cost me 510 Singapore dollars. Now you go do your USD or wherever country you are from, conversion rate. This is 510 SGD. Um, so I'll go over the cosmetics first. It is... Full rail, okay. I know you guys can see that um, it's full rail, it's triple sided. Now, funny thing is the shotgun grip. For I'll, I'll go through but, uh, from the front to the back this time round. The shotgun grip, when you push it all the way to the front, you have this bit. Okay. I understand if if you could make it like this much, like this much um, extra, so that you will ensure that the user is able to push the bridge all the way in but this much? Well, that looks just weird so now going from the front you can see that you can see the seam line I say seam line because I'm actually um, a little bit into Gundam so they call this seam line or I'll just call it seam line too um, you can tell they don't close evenly now for $510 it's really disappointing and, and unsightly especially when it's marketed as like a like a car body kit where it's supposed to make the car look better and then you get body kits of that does not close properly and does not fit properly so yeah it, it's not nice so over the top rails you can see in case you guys can hear those are the screws you can see top rails the back are really nicely done okay um site has mentioned this before that if you can see it's Thin, thin, you know, thin, fat, fat. So if you take any one point, it's thin, fat, fat, thin, fat, fat, thin, fat, fat. And you guys can, can kind of see it. Thin, fat, fat, thin, fat, fat. Now, this seems to be um, a design process because 
I, you guys know that I do my own 3D designing and that um, this is most likely a copy and paste um, Ctrl C, Ctrl V in the, in the AutoCAD 3D um, CAD file design as not the STR file, uh, not the CAD files, I'll just call it CAD files. And the real, I know it's small, big, big, and Psych made a review that you can't actually slot on um, some of the two points, uh, two point uh, attachments like for himself is the carrying handle because it is not even, it is not the same as um, these Picatinny rails. Yeah, funny thing is these Picatinny rails by the side, they are all really even like standard, 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 standard. Yeah, it's, it's not small, big, big. So don't know why they made this mistake up here. Okay, so here comes the really butthurt part. Now I paid 510 Singapore dollars for this for a, a shell, like a car body kit or a, a, you get what I mean, a reattachment to a recover whatsoever um, because I want to show off, I want to look good, I want to look tactical but look what happens in the front. Can you guys see that foul marks? Now, this is ridiculous to me. That is just horrible. Look, look the bank here, it's smooth. Okay, it's perfectly fine. I've got no complaints. But when it comes to the front, see all these falling marks? What the hell is this? Now, Explorer says that, always like to claim that, oh, um, Explorer stuff are this expensive because they are um, of good quality and good accuracy. What do they mean by good quality and good accuracy when your Picatinny top reel are not exactly the same and they can't fit on all reel, all attachments? And then you can't give me this. Okay, L look at that. Now, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to run upstairs where my computer and my 3D printer stuff and I'm going to get my digital vernier calipers and show you how bad these reels are being found, okay? Give me a sec. Okay, so now I'm back with my digital vernier caliper. Um, I'll zero it so that there's nothing wrong. So let me show you how bad the reels are. So as you guys know, I've mentioned that it's um, thin fat fat. I'll go with the thin one first, which is this. 4.15 fat, 5.12 fat, 5.25 or roughly there. So you guys can see that it's really thin, fat, fat. Now I'm going to show you the front rails in which I have a huge complaint about. See? I'll take a look at the most extreme case. See that? 3.3 3, 4 4.3 and let's see what? 3.8 3.7 now you guys get what I mean already I paid 510 Singapore dollars for this kind of shitty workmanship now if this is considered as their good quality high quality um, workmanship I frankly don't know what's workmanship in my life anymore yeah so anyway as you guys can tell the back when you press it I mean I didn't screw it right now but trust me on this because I'll open that up and show you guys the internals later. You can see the back seals just fine, okay? But when you come to the front, here, okay, see that? Now, I know I'm, I can just shut it tight if I press it here, but you can see it's not really exactly sealed. Now, the screw ports are here and here, so I'll just hold these two parts really tight. Okay, see that? Now, $510 and the shell has a huge hole and when you screw it up you get a front um, seam line too now come on if you guys pay 510 Singapore dollars for a a shell that's supposed to look a shit ton nicer for its aesthetic I mean its main purpose is for its aesthetic and you get this kind of thing would you be angry because I am seriously angry now let's go over the shotgun grip I mentioned that it's sticking out extra Okay, fine, never mind. Let's not let's let's put that aside. Now the shotgun grip itself. Okay. 
I know this is a, a replacement for the long shot. Now, Explorers produce their own um, long shot shotgun grips and they are great, okay? Um, but look at this. What, what's this? You see this gap? Like, no matter how I hold it, or like that or whatsoever, you see, there will always be a gap. Now, this shotgun grip is ridiculously small. I'm just gonna put my hand here and let you guys see. It's really small and, and my fingers has to be like this. Now, I'm not joking. See, remove. My fingers are like this. Now, that's really uncomfortable. Um, yeah. So, you go over the Mac release. Okay, overall, I have to say that the blaster looks good, but there's too many workmanship and ergonomics problem with the blaster itself. So you have the X lever, which is fine. Once again, I have nothing complaining about the lever. Okay, the magwell is fine. Um, this is, you see this big ball inside here? That's just the so-called the mole, um, the part where they pull in the mole, so they just broke it off, which is fine by me. And trigger, now, now the trigger is fine. It's not something people can see, but come on guys. You can see that this part is being casted really well. And then this part you have this. And this thing. Now, once again, if I'm gonna ignore this, fine. Now, next complaint I have is the the, the pistol grip itself, I, I guess you if you want to use real gun stuff. Um it's really squarish, okay. It's really really squarish. So when you hold it like this, I'm just gonna grab it a little bit tighter. Okay, until I kind of going to bruise myself. I'm just going to hold it. Okay, you guys can't really see. But this portion, the white marks area, it's really so squarish that when you're going to prime like 14kg, 18kg, 25kg, I mean I bought this because I want to store in 25kg because the shell is really thick and I don't think it will break. I agree that I don't think it will break. But the grip is just too squarish. It's, got, it's actually hurting a lot just by holding it up at the pistol grip. It's really squarish. Now, next time you're going to see my face. Okay. Now, I'm not sure... Oh, uh, yeah, the butt stock. I'm going to go in the butt stock. So the butt stock, you can see here the button. You're going to have three um, so-called positions. Now, why would they make a position or the butt stock so small? Like, like, I'm considered thin, but I'm, my height is 178cm. So you do your math conversion, 178 1.78 um, meters. What kind of butt stock in a real life gun is actually so small? Uh, you guys are going to say it's not a real life gun. True, I agree, you don't really need a, a full length butt stock like an X eliminator. You just need something to support against your shoulder, which I agree, fine. But look at the smallest position. What kind of people is going to fire their blasters like this? Like, I'm going to show you. What kind of people do you fire the blasters like this? Now you can say, oh, there's adjustments. So, okay, let's just adjust. Number two, it's still like this. I know you guys will say the SMG shit, but this is not SMG, you need to prime the blaster. Now this is fine. Now this is number three, the longer one. This feels more comfortable and at least to me it feels more comfortable it's a bit of like but i could actually would rather like to have the length of the long shot itself somewhere like maybe these will be comfortable just a bit longer or maybe they should actually now look at this the 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 pistol grip to the magwell is a bit far um okay i can't argue that it's a bit it's the same as the long shot actually but I, I, I prefer this to be just a bit, a tad bit longer. So, yeah, if you don't use the last one or the last part stop position, you actually can't, can't use it at all. So, I guess you could say that this for, uh, just so that you can keep for storage, easier keeping. Okay, fine. I agree. So, I'm going to proceed on to opening up the blaster and show you guys what you guys want to see, the internals. But before that, let me show you the shotgun grip. Um, there are some issues with the shotgun grip in which, once again, I'm not too pleased about. 
So I'm back, I've dismantled the shotgun grip and yes, you don't have to open up two screw ports, you can just slide the shotgun grip out for the exhaust now, once again I'm showing you, it's really small. The other complaint I had was this. Uh, now if you guys can see, I mean you guys can't really tell, can you guys tell that the shotgun grips are uneven? Now I'm going to hold this as straight as I can to the camera. It is a tad bit uneven, you can see this part is higher. So what you'll be getting is always um, this side of the screw, screw of the shotgun grip will always get more so-called falls on it and causes it to bend more often. Now, you guys can say, oh it's a tad bit, doesn't matter, but if you guys know the way that I play um, Nerf Wars, the screw is going to break really easily. Now, moving on, let me pause and I'll open up the blaster. So, same thing as the X Eliminator, how you open up the blaster, first step is to remove the buttstock. Now the buttstock is casted. Okay, it's not, uh, it's, it's like the X Eliminator, casted buttstock. Um, for the buttstock, no complaints here. Okay, other than this small little nut in which I don't mind. Okay, it's okay. Now for the shell. Check, yeah, I screw this on. Oh, great, I didn't screw it. Yeah, it's because for convenience. And yes, I store all my screw here. Little, little trick. So, the shell comes apart. Now, I'm going to go over the cover first. Okay, um, very simple. This is just the, the spring holder for the buttstock. Um, this side has got nothing much. Just the two screws. Sorry, my mum called. So, anyway, just the two screws. Nothing much for the rails. Okay. So now what you have here is the side that you guys want to see. Now, moving from front to back again, this is the barrel. Now you guys might find this one a little small because mine was the first batch. I remember being the first person to order and the first person to pay when I went down to Explorer shop itself. Yes, I went down to meet Hing and that's how I've always got my items. I went down to him personally, down to uh, Explorer's um, factory workshop and just buy directly so I do not have any receipt. Now about the receipt part is really important for you guys if you are going to ever buy Explorer product and I'm going to touch up about that maybe in the same video, maybe in a separate video. I think I'll do it in the same video. This video is going to be in like almost a 45 minute an hour long video and yeah let me just finish the review of the Exus first. So as you can see the shell is not, not really pleasing not really pleasing in the sense is that you can see all these marks and whatsoever, but it's fine, it's fine to me. I'm, I'm really an easy going person because it's inside no one can see. It's enough, but you can see all these, these bubble marks. Yeah, all these bubbles everywhere now. I've studied um, casting process and I understand there will always be bubbles, all this and whatnot. So all these small bubbles is fine. Now, here you have your plunger tube, a long shot plunger tube. Okay, I still got my OMW's plunger tube for yesterday's or that day's x limiter preview. So, you can just slot your whatever plunger tube inside here. It's a little bit shaky. Dimensions are a tad bit off, but it's fine. Once again, I say it's fine for this thing. You have your plunger rod guide and your catch um, plate. Now, if you have watched Sykes' review, um, he has mentioned that there is catching issue with this particular exus. No, no, not this exus as in I think almost all exus. At least it happened to me. It has happened to Site SG. It has happened to Su Chiang, my shipping partner. Yes, he too owns the XE. So what Site did for me was he, I think this was paced by him, Explorer, I can't remember. A little sticker retaining piece to make it slide better. Now, see this groove here? This groove is for your long shot catch plate, which has uh, the stock long shot catch plate, the one catch plate, has a little nub here to prevent the screw from, I mean the catch plate from going too low or going too high. Now Explorer fucked up these measurements here. The only way that you can use any catch plate, sorry, the only way you can use any catch plate is you have to file off that little nub in which this is an Explorer Dell ring catch plate, which means Explorer designed something that even their own catch plate can't use and they are always persistent that you should only use their own product and now their own catch plate can't use. So, mm, one mistake here. So, what you have here is a casting process. As you can tell, it's really squarish the trigger. 
Now, the big gripe I have about this thing. Now, it is supposed, it is marketed as a drop in um, long shot shell replacement. So, if you guys can tell already by now, the. Okay, this side is cool, so I won't be picking up this side. The barrel will not, so called the barrel hole, will not fit a stock um, Nerf orange color barrel. So, what, what drop in kit is this? So, never mind. He said that, oh, mine, because he knows that I will go for performance and I will definitely mod this and not use stock internal so he went ahead and gave me the the so called the modified for modification version so fine okay i agree fine yes you're right i will not play stock games so what i have here is the the part that explorer fucked up big time now i'm going to measure okay if you guys look, can tell by now those that have played with long shot a lot um this is where your dart gate sits here your dark gate whereby the explorer one do I have explorer bridge here? Um no I do not have it here. So anyway, trust me on this. This is where your dark gate, your black color explorer piece fits. Okay, it goes here, then your barrel goes out. And this will be where your plunger tube is. Now I'm gonna leave the plunger tube here. Okay. And I'm gonna use a vernier caliper. Zero. I'm going to measure something. I'm going to comp let you guys compare um, between the, 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 the Explorer's design and... Okay, there's no way I can do this properly. So I'll try my best to, to do this properly. From this point, as you can see here, where the dart gate um, is called this point, the wall, and the... Yeah, so as you can see, it's 121.27. Now, let me take uh, a stock long shot. I'll open a stock long shot and I'll show you um, what the stock long shot dimensions are. So, right now, I'm back with my stock blue long shot. Okay, here is your same thing your dart gate slot in place, and here is the start of or rather the, the front of the so I'm gonna measure that. So I can't remember what's the, the last measurement now. It's one two one, right? Let me show you guys something. Uh, okay, there you have it. One one three. So what you have right here is obviously um, an error in the casting of the bridge, uh, the length of the bridge. So what I'm saying is that, I mean, if you guys know about mods and stuff, about long shot and about clip flat buses, you guys would have found out, would have realized that Explorer fucked up the casting process, or rather 8mm is not the casting process warping, 8mm is an error in their design. I have spoken to a few uh, more senior models um, overseas, locally, and I've spoken to my cousin, which is which has handled casting things before. Um, he's in the working world right now, a, a very, very old 30-something already. So anyway, my point is that Explorer did not... Explorer told me it's, it's because of the casting process. Um, at first, they told me it's because of the casting process, the warping of the plastic, in which I know it happens. But I've spoken to a few senior nerfers and and people that has done casting. They say that casting at most it is due to warping. At most is give you a, a 2mm or rather less than 2mm now a 2mm warping of plastic of molding it's already very very bad. Now 8mm now I, I, I do the math I don't know if it's really 8mm but the last time I measured it's about 8mm wait 1, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 8, 8, 9 Fuck, I suddenly feel my math. Anyway, you get what I mean. The the difference in the dimension, I know you guys want to say it's less than 1 cm, but you guys that have done BBLS, you will know that the extra 1 cm is dead space. Now, if you have watched Sight's review or everyone else that has an exhaust, you will know that Sight did mention that there's catching issue. And um, 
he PM because I was the first guy to get the exhaust. He PM me and, and bro, do you have um, this 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 issue with the exhaust? And I said, um, yes, I realized that the bridge was longer. So, yeah, the bridge was longer. And, and when I approached Explorer about this problem, do you know what they told me? They told me, oh, the 8mm longer or the 1cm longer is within their acceptable range. Okay, fine. And now this is the part that ticked me off. Now, if you go tell this to a new guy or a guy that doesn't know much about modding, or it's not in this hobby long enough, you go like, oh shit, yeah, right, okay, I believe you guys. Now, what they told me is that the 8mm longer or less than 1cm longer is for better performance. Now, that pissed me off as hell. You guys might know right now that I've created some crazy shit that, that this expanded plunger tube long shot, I'm, I'm a very power hungry guy. The local no first knows me as, as the power hungry guy. So, you can't tell me that the 8 extra mm or whatsoever number was that. Go do your math. Is for better performance. Now that is just bull crap to me. Total bull crap. You don't come tell me that 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 eight mm is for extra performance when everyone in the world knows that dead space reduction is a legit mod to get more power out of your whatever um air volume that you're getting from be it a tank or or a springer. No, that is just bullshit. And and. Um, I can't remember what I want to say anymore, but you get my point now. Five hundred and ten dollars for for a shell that has so much potential. Now look at how thick that shell is. It can withstand anything like twenty five kg. Even I'm pretty sure if you go up to a thirty kg or forty kg spring load, you will break your arm first or dislocate it. But the shell won't break. Now, what the hell, man? Five hundred and ten dollars for so much mistake. That's just not pleasing now this comes to the end of my review for the um x limiter oh wait there's one more thing that i have to mention now you guys know that you guys see this wall it's all the way down and the plunger uh no the plunger the the the, the what's that called the boat sled yes the long shot boat sled goes all the way here now you guys know that the long shot boat sled has that tail thing which is no idea what for, I can't remember what is it for, but it will go all the way back behind the catch plate and whatnot. Now, Explorer did this wall, okay, and Sight came to me with that issue and he pointed it out to me that do, do you know that um, you can't use stock bolts there unless you cut away that tail? And I was like, oh shit, I didn't know because I would straight away throw in a Robo Man's boat sled, the red color boat that I got from him. So if you guys know the Roboman's boat sled does not have that tail thing and the Explorer's hybrid boat sled, they're all plastic and, and metal aluminium boat sled has that tail too. So both, I mean, the stock boat sled and the Explorer hybrid boat sled, I mean the Explorer hybrid boat sled can't be used on this thing. Now, you guys are wondering why, why would Explorer design something that they can't use, that their own boat sled can't use? Because before they made this boat sled, they came up with the Echo boat sled, the, the, the PVC part with aluminium um, parts boat sled that doesn't have the tail. So by doing this, um, Explorer has forced me to either or rather force me or the people that purchase this thing that we can't take our old Explorer boat sled and drop it in. We either have to cut it, with which most people won't do it to their Explorer product, or you are being forced to buy their new boat sled. So to me, that was kind of a dirty play, but Lucky for me, I had my Bradley's boat sled. So, anyway, if you guys wonder what this nub is, it's just a trigger guide for, you know, the long shot is that small little over thing that stops the trigger. So anyway, this comes to the end of my review for the x Eliminator. $510 for, for this, that can't close properly, has got real problems, has got badly found mark, bad workmanship, 8mm off in dimensions and they can't tell me it was purposely made for better performance now don't come give me that bullshit so obviously the exhaust is not a drop in exhaust their marketing is false now it's 510 singapore dollars and i'm really pissed this guy once i've collected uh, the, since the day that i collected it i've installed it i have not brought it out to a single game because i know this this exhaust even though it's such a nice shot, it will not perform as well as a normal long shot because of the dead space. Now, 
sorry I keep moving the camera around, I'm a little agitated right now. No, come on, if you guys know it did space reduction, you guys won't be happy with this and some of the reels are so badly fouled. Now, I'm going to stop this, um, the review is going to end here. The next part of this video, I know it's already been half an hour, the next part of this video is going to be really, really butt hurting. It's, it's what happened to me when I went to Explorer and told them, look, I'm uh, displeased with my Exus and I want to exchange. Now, if Explorer people are watching this and you do not want to hear anything that has happened to me and Explorer, dislike this video, close it away, whatever you want to do, do. Now, for those that will be staying next part of the video, it's going to be really butt hurting, it's going to be really long and there's a lot of dirty play that Explorer has done and to me as a consumer, as us as consumers whereby we get into this kind of shit, kind of customer service, it's just bullshit to me and I think the community, be it Singapore or overseas, US, China, um, Malaysia, you guys need to know what you're getting into when you're paying so much money for an Explorer product. So I'm going to cut the video right here. Stay if you want to know more, leave if you just want a review. Okay, thanks for watching. So hey guys, I'm back and this time as you can see, I'm in a different room. I'm in my the place where I do all my 3D designing and you guys can tell this is a conversation between Mr. Heng from Explorer, the boss of Explorer and myself over WhatsApp. Now, like I said, I've been his customer for three years. He regards me, at least I used to regard him as a friend and he used to regard me as a friend. So. I'll be talking a bit, you guys can read out the first sentence first, I mean the first picture first, all these are screenshot. I mean all these are screenshotted because I will be going to a court case in Singapore. So I will touch up on that later and then what I'm going to go ahead and I'll take, just take this video, I'll be, just take this video as my reference video or my evidence video in which I'll be bringing to the court because I'm going to get back my $510. So anyway, I'll be showing um, not all the evidence because I think that would be too long and too much for you guys to suggest, uh, digest. I'm going to show you the main points and to prove that I'm not talking b bullshit. I mean, what I have right now is just unedited, no underlying, no cutting, no nothing. Um, straight conversations between me and the associates of Explorer. So, first off, um, you guys, I bet you guys have already read. Um, pause the video anytime that um, you want to and I'll be pausing the video I mean I'll be jumping the pictures a lot so that uh, to cut down time so what I've stated here is that um, I have a problem I, I can't catch my 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 exus so I've approached him and he said we do our setup and you change to your setup and you post that you tune better blasters online and you want us how what do you think so um, I don't know if you guys can tell I've been very polite uh, you can, you guys will be able to see on the next few conversations, I've been really polite, so Okay, fine, I accept this, I tune their blasters in which he are, he's not too happy, so next picture Um, okay, he's busy, I'll drop by From what I can tell, I mean this, from what I can tell, the slot of the plunder tube seems to be 2-3mm longer Okay, that time I did not measure, so um, it's actually about 7-8mm, but less than a cm longer Uh, just leave it to us actually, we know what to do, um We had quite a number of these batch running fine Okay, see, if you guys can read, I'm very easy going, I agree to everything. So, next picture, I've also just realized the files are really um, badly filed. I asked him, asked him really nice, is there anything you can do about it? And, Hing, I've spoke to Site, yes, Site SG. Um, and Eric, Eric is their ex um, distributor for Carousel, a local. Um, so called something like eBay but just for locally, Eric. So uh, all three of us are facing the same problem with the Exus shell and we came to a conclusion that the shell is not well made. I hope that you could really uh, buy back my shell, I mean as in a replacement, as the blaster is really uh, cannot be primed unless using stock spring and you have told me my Exus bridge is longer uh, warping due to molding which blah 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 blah. So here goes the part that he becomes really defensive. I mean, this is just the beginning, you should see uh, what happens later. What I'm talking about, we sold 40 units and you guys uh, install yourself a got problem, you're not accepting a reject. So, I mean, look at this, he's straight away shooting me down um, on the spot, 40 units, okay. So, blah blah blah, I tried on my Exus, blah blah blah, blah. Exus is marked as a long shot shell replacement, and now it can't even prime your fully stock long shot. 
we sold to China, uh, no problem. X Shot Champion is their own internal uh, competition. Like you told me a point, uh, be, be it side, uh, be side and me both tested the full long run. Both us cannot prime the blaster. I'm not talking about fully modern stuff, it's fully stock. Yours, okay, here comes the part. Yours is the first batch. To us, the first batch is better performance. Uh, if you want to check for a second batch, but after changing, you will not be allowed. So we consider that uh, Eric is straight against us. Eric is because uh, he Eric is against us. So let me tell you, Eric. Eric is their shipping partner, and Eric was kicked out of Explorer, or Explorer no longer associates Eric with them. Is because Eric gave a four a point ten or a three a point ten review for his Exus, his red Exus. So um, Hane was not too happy about it and kicked him out, and that's why he said this. Eric was straight against us. So, he also said that you guys don't know how to install, bring over, we install for you. At the end of the day, no, not refund. You want info, uh, you want, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, I don't, his English is really bad. So, uh, the point is, no refund. You want, bring it to us, we install original X Power. That means no modifications, like what I've usually done and other people have done. Uh, so, so, he said you guys don't install. So, he's accusing me, I mean, not, let's not say other people, me and Sight of don't know how to install. So, here comes my point. Ben, you mean site? Yes. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. I know I give you blah, 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 blah. So I've shown him a screenshot, blah, blah, blah. Hey, I spoke to him. He and I both cannot prime. Uh, so, so it's, it's proof that we can't prime unless we do some major mods on the shell. So, article, I mean, article's actually Eric. He has really bad uh, spelling. Blah, blah. Hey, I don't care. I know, blah, 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 blah. So my Exus shell is obviously not top, um, working. So now he says that this is tuning. You guys are modern. This is for you guys to tune it. So at first he said that we, we don't know how to install the blaster. And now he's saying that um, he has problems because you need to tune it. And, and that is for us to tune. So, okay, okay, okay. So never mind. Okay, whatever. Uh, you bring to me, I proved to you already almost 40 units in the community. Okay, fine. So... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. So, here I go. Okay, I, I, I'm really easy. I, I went ahead and said, okay, fine, I bring ahead. Um, the rails are badly fouled and the shell uh, has a gap when fully closed. Um, so, I, I brought up the part whereby I was unhappy of, about the, the, the bad fouling. So... This is what you reply. This is custard. This is why it's cheaper, and that's why uh, some people pay higher for CNC. Okay, the X eliminator was CNC. So uh, next comes to the point whereby, okay, what about I trade in and top up for the CNC because I'm really not pleased with the quality of the shell. So this is how what he replied. Alex, uh, in case you guys don't know, my real name is Alex. You can add me on Facebook or whatever. Go ahead, find me. Alex, you are mature enough. You think can? So he likes to regard the local um, non-explorer. Um, nerfing Singapore community as childish because yes we are mostly kids and the main reason he calls us childish is because we know a lot of shit that Explorer does and we are very displeased so he called us immature but because I've uh, been a friend with him a long time and I spent a lot of money I'm, I'm on the the middle of both sides I play with the local models but I had used a shit ton of Explorer stuff so he does regard me as a mature person so I mean you can so that's where I got a little bit pissed off already so um, this is a screenshot of the law of Singapore. So as stated here, hey, this is the lemon law of Singapore. Under this law, as a customer, I have full rights to reject the goods as the there were defects on the goods that was not told to me upon collection and description. It is all stated here in the lemon law. I'm not sure if you guys can see. So here goes. Snap. He snapped, all right. You go complain. Cause it bring back, we can install. Now you threaten me. Go ahead. Now, now let, let, let me just slow down right here. Let's put this aside and not whatsoever. He treated me as a friend. I treated him as a friend. But just because of this single one case that I did nothing to the blaster, it's, it's, I collected it out from the shop and it's already like that. And here goes, he snapped just because of one case. So, I mean, what kind of customer service is this? He, he doesn't accept rejects. He blames the customer. He says that we do not install. The next thing he says that after we prove him that we know how to install, he says, oh, it's because you guys don't know tune. And now that I've shown him that, look, I have my rights, he can't tell me, this kind of shit. So I'm gonna to go to the next sentence. I'm not threatening you, Heng. Look, 
I spoke to him really nicely. I'm not threatening you. I'm just telling you I have my right as a customer and the law does protect us. I just wish to have a proper good that was what I paid for in which is what it was described a full long shot shell replacement. I do not wish to make this a big problem or go public. I just want the thing that I paid for. So you don't want me to install. I thought I did. I have no idea what this is. Good to it. Bring it to me. Okay, fine. So I bring it to him. Uh, so blah, blah, blah. I brought it to him. So this is back the first page. Now I'm going to close this. Now, um, after, okay, you guys can see another saga in which I've uploaded this before. So this will be a third part. Now, before I go into the next picture, I, never mind, let's just go to the next picture. Um, this is Mark Loon, which I have no idea once again what's going on. We all know him as an associate of Explorer or rather their marketer, their salesman. I have no idea what, what, say, what they are saying. So, um, Side went to try and mitigate this problem for me instead of trying to go straight to Mr. Heng. He has referred me to Mark Loon, which was Side, which is, was, I'm not sure, um, Side's good friend. So, um, and of course, he's an associate of Explorer. So, he referred me to him. So, um, he told me that, come on, um, when someone creates something new, you don't go straight up to him and tell him that your product sucks. He will feel bad. Okay, so I agree. Um, I would like to say that maybe I was insensitive. I'm sorry for that. I should not have Shebe went to hang in time actually your product a problem. But if I don't tell him, I don't know where to go. So he said that, um, why don't bring to Mark Loon and Mark Loon will talk to Hang for me. So after he has brought the, the Exus to, to, to Explorer, to hang himself to test, this is the conversation that he has with me right now. So, hi Alex, your Exus is being prepped and tested and now waiting for you to go down to Explore to verify. Let me know when you're going. So, sure, first thing I'm done, ask. Uh, is anything done to the rails? Wait, is this the first picture? Let, let me just check. Uh, oh, okay, this is not the first picture. This, this is a conversation we, in which I was talking about. Um, I would, uh, this is the part where I bring my Exus shell to make Mark Loon before sending to Explorer. So, he gave me, um, I've reached his location. Uh, I forget to pass him my plunger rod, so blah blah blah. Um, uh, blah blah blah. blah, blah. Okay, so here comes the part. This part that is really ticking off. Your version is made seven mm longer than stock. It is intentional. Okay, they told me it's intentional. It's not defected. It is made for greater performance. Greater performance. This seven mm longer is for greater performance. This is exactly the part that ticked me off. Now you gave me extra dead space and you guys fuck up the design and come tell me it's for greater performance. Scam someone that doesn't know about modding, fine. Now they tried to to trick me. Uh so anyway, it's for greater performance. So the issue is off. So straight away without without any proof of evidence or anything, they straight away uh strike this off in design, off his measurement, the mistake in design uh off and say so the issue is solved because it's not really an issue. Now, if you're in the morning community, you've done blast beat long shot, you should know that this is a huge issue. Dead space. And no way you will get better performance. Obviously, um, it's either they don't know their shit or they are just bullshitting me. So on to the next picture. Second question, um, did I stick the bridge and explore some? I'm pretty sure, okay, this is where I said that. I'm pretty sure the 7M does not improve anything, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, Alex. That's explore. It's made that way. Problem arises when people start dissecting it and applying their own detection and grade it bad or good. Most of explore just use and uh, explore users just use it. Now, Mark Loon's English is good, so you can you 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 read and you you will definitely understand what he's saying. So, what they are saying is what all of us have been came to realize. Be it in Singapore, in Malaysia, in Indonesia, in US, in Australia. People that buy Explorer product, at least like what I used to wear, I don't know much about modding back then. People just buy, they pay a shit ton of money, everything's installed for them. And definitely if you take a 14kg long shot as compared to a stock, you believe there's an improvement. But has anyone in the world actually tried to throw in 18kg spring in an OMW um, kit? No, and how many Remedy Metal reviews are there? Anyway, if you guys want me to make a Remedy Metal long shot kit review, let me know, I'll make a review for it. now. Back to the point, no one has thrown such high spring loads in other mod kits, so it's definitely understandable like how that time they, they, they managed to so-called blow me away with their high spring rate. So 
they admitted most people that buy are just people with a lot of cash, don't know much about modding and just use it. The problem arises when people are dissecting it. So normally people that dissect it are models like like what I am right now and people who knows their shit. And people knows their shit when they open up their blaster, their, their explorer blasters and study it, they're like, dude, this doesn't make sense, that doesn't make sense, and there. There's the problem. So it's either a lot of people don't know their shit, or they just don't know their shit, or they just don't want to accept that they made mistakes. So moving on, just use it. Now and then complain about dead space, that's how it's designed. Be it dead space or the rest of the world calls it otherwise. Blah blah blah. Now, instead of trying to rectify my problem, uh, but you are finding blah, 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 that I strongly advise you to reconsider when buying Explorer stuff because of the level of ceremony there. So what they're telling me right now is, dude, you're not happy with my products, it's made that way, you don't believe me, you're saying, don't buy. Yes, after this exclusive case, I've stopped Explorer product anymore, I'm no longer supporting them. So anyway, I was still, I swallowed my saliva, I was still being chill. Back then, I said, okay, fine, if it's made that way, then how about the reels? I'll sort that out one at a time. Okay, for now, uh, blah, 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 uh, those were the biggest problems, right? So he's saying that um, performance cannot catch blah blah blah. So I reply him, not really, as I've shown you that night when I went to meet him and pass him the Exus. Even in my half explorer kit, half OMW kit, that means I fused the kit, I modded both in one. The kit, I will fix it myself together and I did manage to make it prime. So what's the problem again? So so I've proven to him that catching, making the blaster fire is not the main problem. The main problem is uh, mostly convincing. Yes, he's right. The shell quality, let's just say that I accept the 7mm bridge, which he told me is for better performance, but I have the front top rails, but what about the front top uh, front top rails and the gap? I've seen other, some, some other people's exhausts that are custom painted, those rails are perfectly fine, no gaps and um, both how the shell quality, right? okay I'll follow that, okay thanks, so I take, thanks to you. Uh, so this is the part you asked me if I have glued and adjust the bridge. Yes, because I have told him that um, I am the 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 one that, that put the blaster away and I have proven to him that I can make the the blaster fire. So um that, okay no problem. I'll tell him that I'll tell him that the cap is taken out from the stock shell. Okay, thanks. No problem. So this part on work he was still really nice. So on 4th May. Hi Alex, your Exus uh, is prepped and tested and now waiting for blah, blah, blah. is anything done to the rails? So this part is another part that they piece the shit out of me, okay? The rails are inherent to the shell. So I asked him, so nothing can be done about the badly fought rails? Now this part, read this part guys. If you're going to buy Explorer products, this is the kind of shit you'll be getting from that. These features are consistent with our prototype model. Did you check the prototype before buying? L let me rephrase that for you. If you pre-order your Apple iPhone, Without the product coming out yet, you receive your product on day one, you went to collect it, and you realize that your button is not being fixed properly. You go back to Apple, you tell them, look, I brought this home, I realized after opening up and playing with it that my button is not fixed properly. And Apple will come tell you that um, it's actually consistent with all prototypes, meaning that every single Exus, or my example, every single iPhone that is made is has these badly fought rails. I mean, that's what it means, right? Consistent with our prototype. Now, correct me if I'm understanding this wrong, but what it means to me is that it is consistent. I mean, it is inherent and it is there for every single exo shell. So, from what he's saying, telling me is that my badly fought rails happen in every exo shell, be it mine, Sight, Su Chiang, or all the 40 um, exos. Now, I'm going to show you something later to prove that this is bullshit because someone with a black exhaust got pissed, got pretty done pissed off from what I've posted and he wanted to help me by taking a picture of his exhaust and sending it over to me. It is a black exhaust. So Su Chang is red, mine's khaki, side is yellow. So this black exhaust is a fourth exhaust. Okay, did you check the prototype before buying? Wait, 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 wait a minute, let, let me just get this right. You go to a car shop, you see the car, you buy the car. When you take the car, you go back home, you realize the car got a problem. The salesman blame you. Do you check the car before you you buy? Are you do you, do you guys read these two sentence? Do you see how much bullshit there is right there? 
They are blaming me for something they made that is a mistake that I did not check their item when I made my purchase. So before I buy my iPhone, before I buy the car, I'm supposed to understand every single electronic mechanic and how the thing is being put together before I buy. And it's my fault that I buy without having such knowledge. $510 and they give me this kind of bullshit. Wow, guys. <laughs> if you want to buy... Uh, buy, buy Explorer products. This is the kind of shit you'll be getting. So, uh, the whole... Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, the first battle has defects in the reels and that's why Explorer had to file it. First reply. I'm going to show you. Yes. Okay. No, I did not... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, I didn't know the bridge worked. Uh, so now the Explorer bridge has been made in longer on purpose. The bridge is fine in that case. So on this paragraph, I agree. Okay, since you, you say that it's 8mm longer, it's for better performance. I, I just say, okay, fine, I accept. Now how about the belly bed rails, blah, blah, blah. So yes, refers to a certain first point. I want to show you guys in the next one. Yes, some of the shells left the, the factory as such. It is not perfect work, I admit, but it's within our tolerance, our range of tolerance. So... This part, the admin is fucked up. But their range of tolerance is so well that that they can just let me have have such a badly fucked wheels. Now I'm gonna show you something. Um let me find it. In case you guys wanna see. These are all my my, my evidence of what people have sent me. So is it this? No, it's not this. Um, there is one on the... The black exhaust, let me find... It. Did I not put it in the... Let me pause the video and I'll try to find the picture. So I managed to find the file. Now, you, trust me on this, the exos, you can see the rails down here and they... So look at this guy. His rails are perfectly fine other than all these bubble marks. So when when they can't tell me that, that the shell is is like, what do you say, is inherent to, to, um, to, to, to the, 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 it's inherent to the shell. What the hell do they mean inherent shell when I jolly well have seen Sykes exhaust, it's perfectly fine the reels. Su Chang's reels are perfectly fine. This guy's reels is perfectly fine except the bubble marks and mine has foul marks. Now um yeah as you guys can see I, I've I've taken my fair share of evidence. The the foul marks as in the earlier part of the video, so obviously this is bullshit now. This is the kind of shit that you, 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 you get from Explorer. So, so I I said that, okay, I, I don't want the Exus. It's just too badly made. He can sell, he said, okay, fine, bro. I'll, I'll sell it for you, but buy again, I don't know. Because Heng, I think Heng doesn't want to sell me anymore. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so, here again, he has pestered me on 1st June to go collect. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't think Hank want to see me, which is true. Uh, so anyway, this comes to the end of their salesman. So after that, I went online. Okay, after that, I got kicked out of Explorer's private Facebook page. And yeah, they kicked me out because I know too much shit. And Hank himself is displeased with me. So this is a conversation between me and Hing right now. I'm gonna try my best to to show you guys um, the whole conversation. So let me just zoom. Can I zoom this? Yeah, I can. So um, I've just done after the incident. Enough models welcome. I've spoken to Mark, Mark, Mark. Blah 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 blah. What defected problem? So um, here you said. Obviously, I'm talking about uh, for general how huh, compensated. So he said that um, uh, bring over we settle all the what we doing. Also depend on what trouble. If we can fault customers, uh, it can also be customers fault. Okay, this part once again I'm being very fair. 
I said, okay, fair enough. I understand sometimes really customer uh, break it. I believe you have buy a lot of stuff from shopping. We all uh, work the same. You model, you should know. I don't want to talk here. Anything you come my, to my office, in which I have always, write, writing can have full, can have explanation. You can't cut and paste. You, okay, so what he's trying to say here in short is that because I have been screenshotting all my evidence and uploading it on all sorts of Nerf um, related website, he, he want me to go down to his office and talk because uh, very bad. So for you, better come over and talk one to one. Uh, one to one because he doesn't want me to he doesn't want to type any more thing and give me more evidence. Uh, April, okay, blah blah blah. Um, okay, now this part. Uh, August, okay. This Friday 7 p.m. we come talk, can? So I've made please. So um, back in eight August the third, they tell me come down. So uh, August 17, I replied because. I'm serving national service, I'm in the army, I can't just come out whenever I do. So on the 17th, um, I approached him this Friday 7.30pm after I booked out from Ken. Can we come talk? Please write into explorer.com.sg. Uh, if this can settle through email, you'll try to settle through email. So wait, wait, let me get this right. He wants me to not type anything and he don't want to type anything and settle through to face to face. And now after like what, um, 14 days, he wants me to write an email. So I, I shot him this. Okay, Ken, but I got a few questions. Uh, blah. blah. Uh, this is about an email when you guys have a receipt. Those of you guys who have a receipt, you can approach to him. But this is a part. But for us, my typo, who bought directly from you, we do not have an order number. So how are we supposed to send an email or blah, 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 blah? And how are things, and how will things be settled with email? So I'm asking him, if I send a, set an email, send an email, how will things get produced? Uh, how what the results will be because I don't want to write a super long email and then they are just going to give me the same bullshit and then give me nothing so I asked him so for my case blah blah blah, blah uh, must is send email pictures that uh, must I send must I send in email with pictures uh, so so here comes the part <laughs> this part is really shitty too I told you the casting part is shrinking and shrinking. that is why we have casting and CNT and CNT cost more for the bridge length I told you it come uh, Blah, the Gen 5 is all the which had no seal. Okay, now remember this part Gen 5 all the while has no seal. Now, if you go to Explore website, and that is if after watching this video they did not um, remove the, the post. Um, okay, it's not here. Uh, let me see if I have it. So anyway, you, you guys can go see it for yourself. The Gen 5 Explorer kit is marketed to have to be the best of... Let me just Google it for you. Yeah, because Explorer people are really butthurt. If they don't show them evidence to shut them up, they, they just don't believe. So I'm just going to Google it for you. Um, long shot. And the Explorer Gen 5. No, Explorer Metal Pusher Gen 5. So let's see. I'm not sure if they have changed their, their, their intro. Okay, see? See this right here? Made in the Gen 5 profile, which is a combination of the Gen 2 reliability, in which I agree, and the Gen 3's air seal. The Gen 5 not only shoots better, seals better, and is also better feeding. So their website, I bought the Gen 5 because they said it had seal. Okay, and I realized there is no sale. Many nerfers have realized there's no sale when they bought it. Some Australian guy that has bought my product also told me that the Gen 5 is no sale. And here he himself admitted, uh, all the while our bridge no sale and minimum sale. Everyone know. So what the hell is this? Did they not give just give false advertising, putting on their webpage that it has sale, and then here he himself admitted there's no sale. So. At least for me, I'm not sure about you guys, I was so-called tricked or bluffed to buy something that was supposed to have sale and not that it isn't all the while. So is this not false advertising? So so um, here he, he, he straight away instead of, I, I guess he lost it, instead of uh, insisting that I reply to email, he, he, he gave in. So I think I'm wrong. You do not allow me to action of CNC. I was not aware of the bridge length was longer. Once the badly false reels were questioned, uh, once again the badly false reels were 
uh, questions were being avoided and it's not the casting that's the workmanship. For Gen Mine, which you on video, you yourself said God seal, your webpage also said God seal, so now it's a false advertising, which is like what I said. What uh you just told me is not what what you just told me tells me that even if I do send an email, nothing will be done and this to compensate me and thus telling me Explorer still does not want to accept their mistake and will not provide proper customer service. I will I will still be left here with my five hundred dollar shell that does not look good, blah blah, blah and a bridge that does is not what it's promised. I'm giving Explorer one last chance. Re recast the whole exhaust shell with all measurements correct, proper rails, proper mention, or I want my money run due to defected goods. And let me show you what you reply. Um, so this uh, defected goods. So what this is what you reply? Sorry, we can't, uh, cannot accommodate. I buy over 300 SGD from you. I cannot do anything for that. And most, I only buy over 300. So I'm not going to say anything much. Read my next point. I bought for 510 SGD. Due to a mistake you as a seller made, or as a manufacturer made, I as a customer need to lose $200. I have nothing to say but I'm to, uh, be prepared to receive a police report. In which I did, I'm going to show you that in a minute. Okay? Okay, you do what you want. If you think doing, uh, if you think doing that, that is the right thing, we have many exos buyers that can prove. So, I don't know about what you guys feel right now but He's trying to use other Exus owners to so-called defend himself when other Exus owners has come told me that actually they too have been experiencing problem. And I can bet with you the other Exus owner that said that they, he can use to come prove himself. They don't know much about modding. I'm and and I'm pretty sure they did not dissect the Exus themselves. So I will now show you case. Case stands for. Let me show you guys again. Case. Singapore, okay. Now, um, if you guys can read here, case the customer consumers Australia is a non-profit, non-government organization committed to protecting consumers' interests. So it is not exactly the 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 the, the court case yet. I've given Explorer yet another chance to so-called redeem themselves by going to a third-party one, which is a legit Singapore company. Um, funded somewhat by the government to so-called um, I don't want to bring make matters too bad so this is the lemon law is a, a um, fair trading law is a legit thing in case any of you guys wonder so I'm going to show you um, my folder which is up here on case so I'm not going to show you the rest too much I, I think this video is way long enough it's going to be an, over an hour long so Blah 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 blah. I've this is okay. There has been four email. First being me sent to a uh, case on my behalf sent to Explorer. Explorer reply back to case. Uh, I reply back to case and then case reply back to Explorer. So there's a total of four emails. If I'm not wrong. So here comes some really shitty part as well. Um, before we begin, I will hope to make some clear. Explorer foamed up Blaster Development or Explorer. Uh, blah, 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 Explorer is owned and managed by Explorer Ranger Academy. If you guys ask me, Explorer, what the hell is Explorer Ranger Academy? So, once again, let me Google that for you. Um, Explorer Ranger Academy. So what do you know? On March 2015, it's really registered. Now I'm not sure if this is the, the actual um, explorer. Because there's way too many explorers here. So anyway, uh, Explorer Engineer operates independently from Explorer Solution. Now Explorer Solution is their main business. They are a prototyping company, but it's actually the same uh, shop. Mark Loon, at first told me, you can see here, Mark Loon at first told me here, he was their salesman 
and now they tell me it's a freelance administrator who is engaged in maintaining and blah 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 as well dot com. As such, he's often also, uh, but despite the fact he's technically not a paid employee. So at first they tell me that he's he's part of a secret. Okay, this part maybe I don't know what the hell is going on inside, and that Mark Lung is not involved. But <laughs> looking at the shit Mark Lung gave me, anyone would think that he's involved. So we've all put down our black and white. Oops. Uh. So we've all put that blank now, we have police address, uh, la, police, uh, member of Mr. Kong, yes, myself. It's quite obvious, it is not an official receipt issued by us. So I get a receipt in which I will show you right right here. I, I got my receipt from Explorer. Um, let me see, 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 see. Purchase receipt, there, there you have it. Um, Alex Kong, April the 1st, April Fool's Day. Exus Khaki Color 1 Price 110 510 Issued by his signature So Back to point They said It is quite obvious It is not an official receipt issued by us Instead it is issued by the director Mr. Heng So After verification it is confirmed by Mr. Heng That it is a private sale between the two individuals And it is not related to the company So let me get this right Not related to the company The 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 The, the uh, director of a company his signature his receipt is not official and it's not part of the company and it is a private sales okay uh, claims pertaining to this specific product should be related at Mr. Heng personally and reachable at blah 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 so let me get this right your boss is not part of the company and his receipt is not legit and not part of the company you you guys just digest that right there, and um, they said that I I complained about the wrong thing. So obviously they're trying to cut off Mark Loon. They're trying to cut off their own director from their own company so that their company can't be um, so called have a bad record. But in any case, if you guys want to know, Case already has a record in their system, so they have a black mark on the Singapore system already. Um, however, it involves our product and blah blah. blah. So blah, blah blah. So they agreed that uh, that I have bought multiple times, uh, directly and the kind uh yeah but buy the latest one. At the point of purchase, the prototype stage and it's not available commercially yet. That means why the uh private sales being now. I have screenshot evidence of of this part that they have started to take order. So I have no idea what they, the hell they they mean by it is still in a prototyping stage when. People have already been taking order and it was a private sales. The fundamental condition of lemon law is not applicable for a contract sale. So look at this. As a consumer, I want my money back because something is fucked up by the by the by the, by the manufacturer. And they go through all this just to not pay me back five hundred and ten dollars and they, they try to, to to use the law against myself. In the receipt Mr. Heng has written clearly it is a sales track or shell alone and is verbally informed by Mr. Kong and uh, uh, Shell and uh, I mean Verbally, dude, you can say anything that you want in email. There's no evidence that he actually verbally told me anything. Uh, I was uh, feeling which is really rejected. Now I rejected installation because I have more than enough capable skills and I played more than enough explorer parts to know how to install the kits myself, which is why I rejected it. Blah blah blah. blah. Falling marks are part of our finishing process and exists in all of our products. All of our products. So once again, proven my point that all exus out there should have the falling marks. So I'm gonna cut down everything because it's way too long a video. Um, the last part, this part is really, I'm not gonna say much. You guys just read it for yourself. This this paragraph onwards, this whole paragraph, you guys read it for yourself. We are glad that a good association such as yourself decided. To, now in Singapore, we call this wayang or wayang in, in army. Or what you like to call it as um I have no idea how to say it as in it's like sucking up your boss like 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 yeah just sucking up. So we have hoped that after receiving our side of this matter will come to a close and we hope to advise the member Mr. Kong to end his online campaign. Of course they want me to end it because Blah, blah, blah. If Mr. Kong chooses to continue doing so, that leaves us no choice but to seek professional mitigation ourselves. That means they are gonna sue me back. In short, that's what they are gonna do. They are gonna sue me back because I mean, whatever. Now, so this is the second email I replied to them. This is me, 
we explain to them. So I'm gonna cut short from whatever they said. You guys, I'm gonna give you guys a full, full screenshot. You guys wanna read, pause the thing, read it for yourself, and then let me know. All these parts that I blanked out is because of my personal email and the email of the case association, Mr. Kenny, that I cannot show you guys. So anything you guys wanna know is that, um, pause the video, you guys read it. So another part that, about this page, I'm now I have, I have enough of this company. So I, I told them, I spoke to my father about this and I've let him read all the evidence that I've gathered. He have told me straight to go to Small Claims Tribunal. Small Claims Tribunal is an official court in Singapore in which they will pick up this matter if they choose to accept. In which I really know, I'm serving NS and still will be going on a two month uh, holiday trip during November 16. If Explorer will just so concept, compensate me $5 and $10, I'm willing to let this matter put to rest and will no longer want to do anything to, to, uh, with their company or Mr. Hing. So up till this point, after all the bullshit they gave me to, the money I had to drive down, spend to, to, to open this case, they still don't want to accept and all I want is just $510. I'm not even considering the petrol fee, the, the fee that I paid for to case to, to help wrap me and everything. So whatever man. So this comes a really shitty part and this will conclude the end of my video. Um, pause it if you want to read. I'm going to show you guys the whole thing. It was shared with you that our company is insistent that the product is not sold by the company, but a personal capacity of the of our director, Mr. Hing, to your goods, to your good self, meaning um, me as a customer. So so let me get this right. Explorer made the Exus shell, but it's not made. It is not sold by the company, and by sold by Mr. Hing with his own personal cap capacity. So let me get this right. The Exus shell is not made by Explorer, but made by Mr. Hing, and it has nothing to do with the company. So it's not the company's fault. And that Mr. Heng is able to produce this part by himself. So that means, you're, I know you're trying to tell me one thing. Mr. Heng has got casting machines at home, CNC's machine at home, that he can do all his molding, and that he doesn't, and that he doesn't use his factory parts, and, his, and the factory parts obviously belongs to Explorer, or the company. So I don't understand what you're saying. You're saying that Mr. Heng can make the exhaust by hand, without all the machinery in his factory? I have no idea. So the, the company has stated that unless, unless an official receipt bearing a company stamp or a company letterhead is produced, they will not be honoured as honouring these sales. Seriously? Your receipt that has, the receipt that's given to me by Mr. In that has your director's signature, it is not your company's receipt. I'm not going to say much. Digest that. Have your own point of view. That's all. Uh, has stated that Explorer will officially cease to re respond to this matter as we have clearly indicated our position. The local location of the transaction, however, cannot be solely linked to the origin of the sale. In this view, your good self has advised that you are... Oh yeah, this is, this is about me. So, so, let me get this right. In the earlier part, they said they want to sue me or, or, or attack me back or whatever they want to do to me because I gave bullshit. So after, I'm, I'm talking bullshit. So after I gave them my second email with all my valid points and evidence of other Exus shell, in which I think I've stated somewhere about the other Exus shell, they come, the third email they reply me back, they reply me this kind of shit. Product sold by Explorer is not made by Explorer. And so therefore, it is not an Explorer product. When Exus is the only, Exus shell is the is only made by Explorer, no one else in the world. Your director's signature is not part of your company's signature and therefore is an invalid signature. And your director has nothing to do with your company. And after giving all my evidence, they, they, are, they are deciding to just drop the matter and ignore me and ignore case and not even gonna sue me back. Now, now I don't know, but this sounds pretty done um, childish to me that, that what they are saying is that no, what you say is wrong. Uh, I'm going to prove to you that it's wrong. And after I prove, prove to them they're wrong. Okay, I don't reply you already. It has nothing to do with me. Bye. That, that's exactly what they are saying right now. So, you guys are going to see my face. If you guys want to see, there's my 3D printer. I, I don't know, man. You, this is a one half hour long video. I don't think any of you guys will, will stay and watch. This is my evidence video against um, Explorer. I'll be going to court case soon. 
I've now um, finished my national service, I've finished my army, I'm very free. So, I don't know man, if you guys still want to buy Explorer product, prepare for this kind of shit. Now, last night, um, on Nerf Singapore, Singapore, Nerf Singapore, capital S and then also a uh, lowercase. Don't go to the rest, the rest are no longer active and they are no longer that good. Go to the one with only a capital S, S Singapore, capital S. Someone posted that China found out the truth about Explorer. Explorer do sell their parts in China. And the China consumers, like us, realize that there in China, they are paying two times the amount for the shotgun grid, two times the amount for anything that they are buying. And so the China consumers got pissed off after finding out that shit, they are paying twice the amount. And don't... Now, it's roughly time. Now, uh, export shotgun grid is $96. In China, if it's really twice the amount, they are paying... Hundred and eighty sing dollar for a single shotgun grip. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hundred eighty sing dollars for shotgun grip. Okay. Hundred eighty sing dollars. Now, what do I have here in this room that's hundred eighty sing dollars? Um, a lot of things, but I can't exactly give you one that's hundred eighty sing dollars. And the China community right now is so pissed off that they have decided to f shit Explorer and produce their own parts. Now, you're going to say that, um, oh, I'm just talking more shit right now and I'm going to show you some evidence. Um, just appeared yesterday. And here it is. North Singapore. So, I'm going to show you this uh... okay where the hell did I post going to okay maybe it's not in here no this is another Facebook page in which it gone to oh my god the post seems to be missing is it this ah uh, yes it's this post so this is a post from China, he has linked the China description below. Now I'm going to show you something. Um, so recently there's been a bashing on China's notebook forum. In short, these are all his pointers. Uh, pause the videos if you want to read. Never give anyone blah blah blah. blah. Use tactics where some say XP is expensive, they will always reply because XP Singapore manufacturing is uh, expensive. Now XP is short for my Explorer and EX is short for my expensive. Blah, blah blah blah. So right now, the China people are really upset with Explorer and they are, same thing like me, pissed off after they found out the truth. And they got pissed off enough that they are creating their own bridge. And from what I know, this full stainless steel or aluminium, I'm not sure what material is this, is going to be less than 15 USD. And Explorer sells their part for seventy sing dollars, and you go make. So anyway, this will be a end of the video. Thanks for watching. If that is, you stay until the end.